Libran, welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman hummingbird. There you go. All right. So let's see. This is going to be you, you versus your twin flame. We're going to take a look at you guys' energies. Okay. Now, Libran, if you want to um, pause the video, you can do that. All right. Um, take you a deep breath. What I want you to do is to figure out where you are in this reading if you're coming in in your divine masculine energy or your divine feminine keep in mind we have both all right and um you know so you know where your partner is so this pal is going to represent the divine feminine energy this pal will represent the divine masculine energy all right so we're going to take a look at you guys' both you guys' energy. All right. It could be your masculine coming in his divine um feminine energy as well, or vice versa. So you know where you are in this. Connect to the energy and we'll go ahead and get started. All right. For Libra. And let's start with the divine feminine. All right. The divine feminine energy, whether you're on here for a man um for a man or a woman, power. The power of love is like a magnet drawing souls together. This person finds this connection very powerful. They feel like um this person is feel like they're being very drawn to you. This is someone here, believe it or not, this is someone that could call nicknames like sweetheart or things like that. This person here looks at you as a sweetheart. This is a divine feminine energy that has called um that's judgment on this, and you a sweetheart. All right. The divine masculine does look at this as a spiritual connection, a new spiritual journey that they're on with you, Libran. Your twin flame here. They are in their feelings, Knight of Cups, and Justice. Here you are. Your divine masculine energy could be um a man here. All right, but this person is definitely feeling some type of way. Also, um, we got Aqua Air and Piscean energy is also here. This is someone here that is or in this feelings when they see you, this connection with you. They do see soul purpose here. They also um feel like um you know you do have a soul. I'm I'm here like a, a soul journey. Yeah. A spiritual soul journey to go. Someone here could also feel like they found their their soulmate. And that's what they recognize coming in as the foundation as connection. Yeah. They look at you as the Queen of Cups. Cancer Gemini energy, liberation. There you go, Libra. This person really, really likes you. Donation, pray, and religion. This is someone that feels like they could have prayed, wanted. It doesn't mean, you know, they was definitely on their knees for some of you guys. Uh, look, I ain't too proud to beg. I pray to God all the time. Uh, you know what I mean? Bring me somebody out, you know, this and that, you know, those kind of things. And for some of you guys, someone could have, um, you know, you know, prayed, literally. All right? You know, um, you know what I'm trying to say, guys. I'm getting so someone here gets tongue twisted a lot. This is someone here that also gets tongue twisted. You could make this person kind of nervous. You know, you guys know I talk really, really fast, and sometimes I get tongue twisted. I know when it's my energy and when it's not. It's someone here talks extremely fast, maybe even a little faster than I do. But this is someone here that could tell their self that could have just put it out in the universe. Like, you know, I want somebody that that um is a queen of their cup when it comes to their emotion, to their attention. Someone I can really um dream with, connect with. Someone that's not as scared to open up to, all right? The current communication is, yeah, signs. This person feels like the signs are there. Watch for the signs leading you to the true love. And that's why they feel like you're the true love and they want to be the emperor. But I just feel like... um. You guys aren't talking. Worth draws current, current communication. You So you guys aren't talking, but this is how this person feels this. This is why they're in the night energy. Um, someone here is very, you know, knights are usually um in their armor. And this deck, this knight is not. This person is in a suit and tie. Someone could wear like a suit and tie for work. Someone here could, um, your masculine energy could be really big into the way they look. They like their appearance. Someone here likes to dress up very, very um, professional-like. All right? Um, you know, so, someone likes to present herself um, very well. Um, no matter what their style of, of, of fashion is, there's many levels to this shit. All right. So take it how it resonates for you. But someone here like is, is big on presentation. 
All right. Now, some both of you guys are confused. I feel like both of you guys have been crying here, scorpion on the energy with the five of cups because you guys aren't connecting. The withdrawal card came out in the current communication. Um, it's been a big adventure between you and um you guys. Someone here is on a venture trying to figure out. Why you guys aren't talking, they're in their feelings, they're in their cup about this. You know, it, it, it worries them. What is blocking you guys? Let me take a look. This union. And for some of you guys, it's someone juggling too much and not reaching out. Instead of um, someone here has been on their phone looking up, watching what you say, looking at your pictures and shit like that, instead of just reaching out to you here. Yeah. Initiation, creativity, and vitality. You guys know what I'm saying. This person has a lot of issues speaking. You also could be talking to someone from a different um, um, nationality, origin. Someone here, um, you know, could, you know, how someone here, um, like, let's say they are Puerto Rican and you could be like African American and they have like an accent, like an accent. Yeah. And they could have a problems like pronouncing their words. All right. It's kind of what I'm picking up on. And when that card came out, that was my confirmation. So, yeah, that could be for um, a small group of you guys. So, this is how this person is feeling. This is how this person is, um, uh, you know, when it comes to their cup emotion. Let's see how this person sees themselves going into this connection with you when it comes to action, starting with the Divine Masculine. Telepathic, commun okay. Three of one. Now, some of you guys are definitely um met somebody online, or you're talking to somebody far away. This could be a very professional man or a woman you're connecting with. Yeah, and someone here. I told you they they prayed for. Look at this card. Even in this card for someone like you, um, this person. Even though this is far away and there's distance here, they telepathically communicate with you. So I might have a song for you soon. Keep updated on your channel messages. You guys know when I get music on and off the channel. When it's on the channel, I hum it. When it's off the channel, we um do it as a channel message, and I still hum it. So just look out for that. This is also someone here. You could be getting music messages, notes and shit like that from this person mentally. Um, they're connected to you. They're in your energy. They, you know, they send you things. You could get hot. I heard bothered. Um, shit like that. Let's see what the divine feminine sees herself here. They see that's what I'm saying. The divine, this is a soulmate connection. You guys both recognize this. This is a past life. The divine feminine is coming in as the ten of pentacles, the moon card, and trap. They can't let you go. Now, the divine feminine, someone here could be a little bit shy and keep it to themselves more than the other twin here. All right. Issues that need to be worked out. Yes, yeah, these obstacles. Yo, shit. Now, for some of you guys, there could be, you know, like I, I was just talking about alchemy. Someone here could have been like praying for this connection. Now, it could be magic. We're going to clear, uh, um, clarify that. You know, but I feel like someone here, they, someone here could be like very spiritual as well. So take it how it resonates because, you know, you got to understand, you know, um, how priests and how friends do know how to heal themselves naturally here um, and stuff like that, that are spiritual, especially if you're connected with someone from different culture or far away here with the three of ones coming out here in a different origin. Or, um, origin. Let me see. Um, so we're just going to jump right into that and clarify that off the bat. All right, let's go ahead and get the tattle. Now that we broke that down like a pound, let's see. Let's get the tarot here. Let's get these cards. Hold on, guys. Okay. What is this right here, Holy Spirit? Show me. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, the truth. Okay. Ace of Swords is here and the Nine of Pentacles. What is this? Almighty, oh, beautiful, universe, and Holy Spirit. Almighty, beautiful, universe, and Holy Spirit. Show me this. This is also someone that could have had magic done on with the Six of Cups here, Scorpionic Energy. They could have had, um, yeah, magic done to them in their past, or someone that now in different cultures, Libran, you gotta understand. They do do different rituals and magic. Someone here could have um, did that in their past. 
I don't know if they did this in his relationship with you. That's not what I'm getting. But there, there's something like that in their energy. They could even be attached to people like that. The Six of Cups also, um, you know, talks about childhood, a little bit of family here. Now, um... All right, you, yeah, someone now, okay, someone here definitely went through some kind of transformation here. Here, got a tarot card here again. What's, what's going on here? Show me what's the tarot card here. That tarot card popped out twice. Let me just clarify that again. Someone here went through a, a strong transformation here. Damn. Uh-uh, hell yeah. Okay, three of swords, the seven of swords, the queen of pentacles, and reverse and the ten of cups, yeah. Okay, so this is the thing. This person has um has um had a spell work done on them. Um here. Yes, they did. The magician in reverse. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Someone here could have paid for this. Um, five of cups here for a ritual for some magic to be done um here on this person in the past. Oh, no. I'm going to say this one time, Libra. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, because this is a general message. So you're going to have to take it, um, Dr. Un, as and cross your T's and take out how it resonates with you. Because you could be dealing with someone who fucked with magic. And if this person is, you know, like from a foreign land, that you really need to be careful here, honey. Uh, okay? This is also could be someone that comes from a family like that. Even though they might not be into it, it don't mean a family that isn't. So if they don't like you, you know what that means. And I'm going to hit the damn button on that. All right. Now, let's see. I want to see more. Yeah, this masculine is very spiritual. Whoever you fucking with is spiritual. You need to be a little bit careful with this person, um, Libra. What is this? Ten of swords in reverse. Yeah, uh-uh. Three of wands is here. We got the five of pentacles in reverse and the ace of cups. The six of wands is here. Okay. Now, someone... Yeah, now, the, the, um, now your twin flame, the masculine energy... Is very still very much attracted. They do see this as also a very spiritual connection. This is someone that still wants to be victorious when it comes to this um, cup of emotional fulfillment here with the six of ones and the ace of cups here. Um, but I got to be honest with you. Someone here could feel like you're not going to do it or you don't no longer want to be in a twin flame journey with them. Yeah. That you are weighing out other options. Be careful. That could be a reason why someone here wants to do the spell work. What's this um, sweetheart? This person sees you as their sweetheart as well. Yeah, and judgment is here. Oh, shit. Hold on. Can I just get a couple cards? I'm sorry, Holy Spirit. That was a lot. Can I just get a couple cards, please? Thank you. Okay, page of ones. Yeah, that's the page of ones keep coming out. This person wants to come towards you, a new start. They juggle back and forth. You could have a child with this person, five of cups. They're in their cup about this, or you could be. Yeah, this is someone here that's sneaky. They want to sneak back in your energy. Yep, the strength card. Just be careful. Yeah. Yes, yo, yeah, honey. They want to come back bad. And be careful, honey, uh-uh, please, because someone here is into um, magic, just so you know, too. Or they come from a family that does um, some kind of magic here. I'm just going to let you know that, all right? Or they're very good with energy. I have not saw the devil court yet, but they are very good with energy. They could know how to shape shift, or they could know how to, like, manipulate. All right, I just asked about that. Let's go into the um, foundation. Why is that here? Yep, the hang mag in reverse. Yeah, see, they recognize this. Yep, four swords. But the thing about it is you guys aren't, yeah. There could be something. Y'all, you could have a child with this person. But see, this is the thing. Um, this person recognized they have gotten some kind of karma from the past. If this person did some magic on you, this could have backfired. All right, like I said, there's level two to shit. This is just could be bad juju that they're getting back. All right. 
from their twin flame. You know, there's, there's rules to the to the shit. And for others of you guys, um, you could have a child with this person. This is also someone in the foundation here. They do reflect a lot on the past here with the four swords and the six of cups here. But they still feel uh, and they this is someone that could also um know why you're walking away. They know why you don't want this. This person sees you as walking on, honey. What is this? Yeah, withdraws the current um, communication. And this is with the emperor. The signs being here. You're standing firm on this too. What is this? Show me that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the eight of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. No, this person does not. Yeah, the full card. Someone here knows you. Yeah, queen of cups. Yeah. Mm -mm. Someone here feels like they have lost their queen of cups. God damn. All right. Show me this. Yep, six of pentacles in reverse. See, this is someone that wants to work with you, but they feel like you want to be single. Mm -mm. Yep, ten of cups. They want the ten of cups with you. And if you do have a baby by this person, they want to be back with you guys. Yep, King of Pentacles. That's what they want to offer you. Just so you know that. Alright. Let me see. What is this union? And that's what's blocking. The union is in the blockages. That's a union. Nothing. Someone's juggling back and forth because they don't think you want this union. What's the union? Yeah. Oh, damn. What is this? Yeah, uh-huh. Five of Ones in reverse. Yeah, things has gotten worse for this person. Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups in reverse because they feel like you are falling out of love with them. Yep, Three of Cups in reverse twice. This is someone, um, Seven of Cups in reverse, that could have tried to get you to fall for a couple things when they made a couple small offers or small jabs, you know, a little lighthearted energy, but they really wanted to give you the Ace of Pentacles, but you ain't fall for it. You like, nah, player, nah, pump, I'm cool. I'm good. Uh-huh, King of Swords, I can't make this up. You ain't fall for that shit. You, what you say, nah, I'm good. What is the um telepathic, what is this? And they're praying. Yeah, the truth is, uh-huh, death, transformation. Someone here has definitely been praying, honey, quickly. They have been. Someone here, we're going to pull you an ancestor message. Ding, ding, that is your confirmation. Aqua Aerie Energy. Yeah, because there could have been, yeah, I just feel like this person has been praying a lot on this. What is this? Um, here, and the van, the van feminine, um, you know, is coming in, and the twin flame reading is, you know, getting distance, just, you know, cutting this off. I mean, that's what they see. Yep, eight of cups, walking off. Someone here is done. So, yeah. Someone here wants a new start. Yep, eight of wands. Someone here can already start talking to someone else. If the divine masculine was feeling that energy that's here, they are correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's just what this is. Um, I want to see what the ancestors have to say here because I do see a lot of ancestor. Someone here has been praying a whole lot about this with you they're really emotional about this libra this twin flame journey with you honey i mean they are what is the six of swords what is the six of swords yeah eagle see from a high perspective and that's what it is i think these, this person this masculine energy is starting to see things from a higher perspective and it's putting them in that warrior energy be fearless and standing strong but it's like you're done uh, love and let yourself be loved. Yep. Take care of your needs. This is someone here. They want to take care of you. Um, here. And if they did before, then they want to come back and do the shit better. What I tell you, they've been praying to their ancestors. This person knows how to connect to their ancestors. Yeah, wait for important information. This is someone here that could be like a light worker. Yep, this is a high got down priest that you connected to. They know how to connect to their ancestors, their spirit guides. And they've been praying for their help, for their guidance to get them back to you, Libra, on a spiritual level. This is deep as hell. Yeah. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. First, we'll pull this person's feelings and emotions towards you. 
real quick just to take a quick peek at that. As soon as I find the damn cards. Okay, here they are. Let's look at that real quick. For some reason, they don't want me to use these cards. They want me to get y'all written messages. So that's what we're going to do, our job. Let's get your written messages. Oh, yep, here it is. Damn, that was fast. Thank you. Um, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm not ready. This is someone in the past. They wasn't ready, but they are now. I feel empty without you in reverse. They want to put that behind them. That's why I came out in reverse. Yep, and they can see their self rebuilding with you in the future. They see their self with you in the um, future. But in the past, they could have gave you this energy. I feel, I, I feel like you're better off without me. I feel like the verses have um switched. The roles have switched, vice versa. The divine feminine is like, no, I'm cool. I feel like you're better off without me. I just, you know, I'm good. I told you. This person still has sexual fantasies about you. They fantasize about you a lot. And the divine feminine is just like, I'm good. I don't trust easily, but with you, I feel safe and accepted. And that's also what's drawing this person back to you. This is someone that realizes that they could have trusted you. They had all this with you and they just let it go is what I'm getting. They let all this go. The Ten of Cups. They let it go. I never believed in soulmates, but then I met you. Yeah. And this is someone here that's in reverse. If you are spiritual or in or religious and you pray and, and connect, you could be the high priest here. And um, you didn't open and woke this person up. Damn it. I'm so pissed off. You could have made this person a believer. Yeah. And this pissed them off because they could have, like... You know, downplayed you in this connection. Your beauty is so cap captivating that I um, forget to blink. I um, thank you for being so patient with me. And this is someone here that recognizes that you are patient. Love is patient. Love is soft. Love is kind. You got that, Libra. You didn't fuck this person up. <laughs> like I'm not saying it like that, but yeah. All right, let's see what the um, outcome is. Yeah. Bond, page of ones, and robbery. Someone here is, they're going to try to steal you back. That's what it is. And now, for some of you guys, this bond, um, a love bond grows stronger over time. And over time, this person's going to win. Yep, they're going to get you back. They're going to steal your heart back. I heard it's your heart, it's your joy. This person here um, has a plan um, to get you back, steal you back, and that's what they're going to do. A new start. Now, this is going to be something very small when it starts with the page energy. What is that? What's this one? Oh. Yeah, page of swords in reverse. This is someone here, um, I'm going to tell you, they're going to be honest and authentic with you to have fun like you've never seen it. This is someone that's going to open up their shame, their guilt, their sorrow and be real with you about this relationship. This is someone that's going to be patient and take their time and over time they're going to win your heart back. And this is someone, ooh, child, I said I didn't see the devil card. But I did. For a lot of you guys, this is your feminine energy. Because in this deck, the devil is a female card. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just be careful, honey. Because someone here could... Someone here is into some spell work. I got to say this. And this, and for some of you guys, you are definitely talking to someone from a um from a different um country. What's the devil card? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Now this is and, and for some of you guys, this is someone that has very, very strong obsessive energy. Just so you know that. Um I want to see, I want to, I want to see, I'm, let me get my damn cards. Let's show me the old message on this. I want to get the universe on the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you got a high priest here, honey. Someone here is, I don't know if they, they all, you know, on these twin flame connections, a lot of people do a lot of spell work. 
you guys go through a lot of spiritual attacks. All right. All right. What is going on? Show me. Damn. Maple. Surrender. Be. God is. Yes. Here it is. I can't make it up. Sex magic. Someone here could have did some kind of sex magic. And this was a dark energy. Surrender earth worship. Uh-uh. To get you to worship them. To get you to come back to them. Hell yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. And for some of you guys, this ritual could have backfired. Now, the thing about it is, over time, I do see, like, you know... You guys kind of working this out. This could be you guys still like working because the bond is here. The you know the bond is still you know still your twin. Child, I don't know. I'm getting so goddamn hot, Libra. This is crazy. I, I I'm gonna say this again because I keep hearing it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Someone here is from um, a different country. Out of town. Someone here also could have did spell work in the past. On the other twin. To keep this person to stay. To keep you from going for, forward. And it didn't work. And this is someone here that could be now like putting out in the past like, damn, I did. First of all, you can never do um, spell work on your twin. It will never work. It will always be a boomerang effect and it will never work for a couple different reasons. But um, this is also someone, if they did this, they're not doing it. They're, they're like done with doing that in the past. They realized that, they're, that, 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 that the spell's not going to work. So, I don't know, Libran. I'm just here to give you the messages. Take it how it resonates for you, with you. I just got so hot, my ass just started sweating, channeling y'all energy, honey. Something here is like that. And with your person. All right. Now, please, please be careful um, here. All right. Someone here also, this could be, um, now take it, like I said, on these journeys, there's a lot of twin flame Um there's a lot of spell work done on a twin flame journey. Someone here could have did spell work here all against you and your twin. Because someone here is from out of town or uh, out of the country. Mm-hmm. So take it how it resonates for you. If you have a twin that has an ex, that's like a... Um, from another country or something, or maybe you have connected with someone from like another country. They did spell work on on you um, so you couldn't connect to your twin, just so you know that. Take it how it resonates for you, Libra. I love you. Stay dope. Hit that bell. Hit all. That's your frequency. Stay in tune into this reading other readings that you are getting, guys. Don't forget that, all right? So when you're coming in, your messages are prepared for you, Libra. And these are still general messages. So dot your I's and cross your T's always, all right? I love you, Libra. And please be careful and protect your energies, all right? I love you. Stay dope. Next video upload. I'll show you in a month.